For example, the Renaissance, he said, was 500 years ago. They didn't have internet, they didn't have cell phones, they didn't have television or cars. I mean, it was even before America was a country. It was so long ago. People rode in buggies and they had horses and they did a lot of walking. There weren't even bicycles. It was a long time ago. So this is an instrument from the Renaissance. It's called a crumb horn. And Malachi will show you all about them in a moment. But these instruments were played by a group of people called the Pipers. The Pipers were essential. They, every town needed them because they didn't have alarm clocks, so they needed someone to tell them the time. They didn't have weathermen on the television. They needed help knowing what the weather was. And, and the Pipers were so important that they spent their days walking through the town and playing music and helping out with the community. So we're actually going to walk through the audience so you can see our instruments and see our costumes. And we're going to play a piece that the Pipers used to play back in the Renaissance. So you ready to take it, take it away? Yes. Tis 11.15 a.m., fair frosty morn. Good morrow, my masters all. To show you the difference in, in the sound from the highest to the, to the deepest, I will play you my lowest note, and then Alexa will play her lowest note on the bass crumb horn. Listen carefully. <laughs> so you see, there's a huge difference between them. But when you put them all together, uh, you get what sounds like one instrument almost, because they're all made exactly the same way. frame drum. The frame drum is actually one of the oldest families of percussion instruments. So a frame drum has this circular wooden frame and over it there's stretched a calf skin. This is really cool because you can get all different kinds of sounds out of it by hitting it in different places and in different ways. So I can get this low sound here like this or a higher sound like this. So you can put those together and make a cool kind of rhythm. Yeah, so I'm sure a lot of you have seen this instrument before. It's a tambourine. So what a lot of people don't know about this is that it's actually a member of the same family as a frame drum. Really the only difference, other than the size, is these jingles on it. So these jingles actually, they, they help you make different sounds with this by shaking it, like that. Or you can hit it like that, yeah. Or what's really cool about this is that you can put beeswax on the skin, and then you can drag your finger across it to activate all the jingles at the same time, like this. So it's a lot of fun, you can do a lot of cool stuff with it. <laughs> 